Hi, first graders. I'm back talking about thinking tracks again. Today, I'm going to introduce to you two new codes for two um, additional types of thinking you might be doing while you're reading. So the first one is the double question mark. Um, the double question mark can be used when you find something in the text or a book that you're reading or even in a video you're watching that you find confusing. Um, information that just doesn't make sense to you for some reason. This information is great to bring back to your group because we can work together to try to clear up that confusion. The second one is this symbol for connection. So the way that I draw this is I do a circle and then a cir second circle that overlaps. And there are three types of connections we might make while we are reading. The first one is called the self-connection. And um, you might be asking yourself, what does this remind me of in my real life? Um, some experiences that I've had. So you can make that kind of connection. You can make a text-to-text -text con connection uh, by thinking about the question, how is what I'm reading the same or different from what I've read in other books or what I've seen in other videos? And the last one's really super exciting. This is a connection with the world. So you might be asking yourself, what does this remind me of in the real world? And these world connections can be really exciting because they might lead us to action that we can take in the world to be animal helpers or animal conservationists. You might want to, before you get started today, you might want to either make your own copy of this mini poster in your animal research notebook, or you can print it out. I'll do a, I'll put a photo of it up on our website. You could print it out and um, glue it right inside of the front cover just so that you have it handy while you are reading. So I'm gonna come back to my flamingo text that you have seen before. However, you um, are using multiple texts now. You might go back to a book that you've already read. You might read a new one today. Um, or you might even try this while you watch a video about your animal. So I'm gonna show you two new thinking tracks that I left in my Flamingo book. Um, the first one is a place where I felt confused. Uh, oops, it's right here. So on this page it says, mom and dad feed the chicks from their bills. When I read this, I noticed a, pop, a thought pop up right away with the word bills. I was very surprised to not see the word beak there, that I saw the word bills instead. So I put a double question mark because I felt a little confused by the word bills. And it led me to a question, how is a bill different from a beak? I'm gonna hold on to that question and see if I can clear it up in other texts that I read or maybe later on in this book. And I'll give you an example of a connection that I made. So on this page it says, soon the chick joins a crush. I had to look up how to say that word because I think it came from another language. Parents find their chick by its call. So I made a few different connections when I read this. What I wrote down is a crush is like a flamingo daycare. So I was making a connection, um, both a self-connection and a world connection. Um, I drop Oscar off at daycare, um, similar to how a flamingo a parent flamingo might drop their flamingo chick off in a crush. And this is helping me to make some inferences or some guesses about why they might do this. Um, maybe it helps the young flamingos get to know other flamingos. Um, I know that I, a big reason why I need to drop Oscar off at daycare is because I have to go to work. Um, and I'm wondering if the flamingos might have some other um, important work that they have to do and if this is a way to keep their young flamingo chicks healthy and safe and socialized. 
So um, those were my two connections that I wanted to show you. Remember, you will be writing down your new thinking tracks in your animal research notebook. And I am sure your research team would love to hear about your new thinking tracks that you add today. Good luck researchers, and we will check in soon.